Hi friends, welcome to Jai Prakash Nagati Hali Tips YouTube channel. Friends, in our life, we have a very big problem. We have a very big thing that we'll never forget in our life. That is, we all are scared about our failures. We don't want to receive the failures in our life. So, in this video, we are talking about how to handle the failures and how to be fearless. So, as a part of our assignment, today we are discussing about the book written up by written from our Jai Prakash Nagati Hali sir, Fear Not Failures, which is actually translated yeah. in Kannada, Solo Galige Anjadiri. So, now I would like to welcome you all for the beautiful video. And first, I would like to welcome our mentor Jai Prakash Nagati Hali sir for this program. Sir, Namaste and welcome to today's webinar. Sir. Namaste, one and all, and uh, Pooja also, Chengal Raya sir also. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, friends, today we also have our transformation team, uh, Chairman Changal Raya, sir, also with us. He's going to proceed this today's video, today's webinar. Sir, uh, today, namaste, sir, and welcome to today's program. Namaste, Pooja. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you so much, sir, for, for this for this beautiful opportunity for given for me. Uh, friends, please do watch our YouTube channels and please do subscribe our YouTube channel and watch uh, every day's premiere at 9.30 evening. Uh, please do subscribe and please do like this video and comment to this video and share this video to your friends. Now I would like to, now I request our chairman, Changal Raya, sir, to proceed with this today's program. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, Puja. Sir, uh, I want to know from you, sir, certain clarification, sir. Uh, what made you to write this uh, book called uh, Fear Not Failure, sir? Uh, Mr. Chengal Raya, uh, it is a, a general question that people used to ask me. Uh, once I was uh, conducting a program on Fear Not Failures in a television show. After the television show, one person called me and told, sir, you saved my life. I just inquired him. Then he told uh, sir, uh, I was about to commit suicide. I was planning uh, to commit suicide through a, a rope. Uh, uh, my TV was on. You were speaking. I have listened to your words and I have decided not to uh, go for the suicide. So I was under the suicide the tendency. You saved my life, sir. So then I felt, and of course, after that, I received more than 1,000 calls for that show. Uh, so for nearly three months, then I felt, I think this is the topic required for the people. So then what I did was, uh, first I have come up with one uh, video, Solo Galinda Geluvinidege in Kannada. And after that, I wrote a, a book in Kannada, Solo Galige Anjadiri. Okay. Later on, I requested Professor uh, Nanjunda Shastri, a famous uh, uh, translator, and of course, he was the principal of a uh, the government college too. Uh, so uh, the book Fear Not Failures came up. And I'm very happy for this book because uh, many have appreciated and many have come out from the suicidal tendency. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Chengal Raya, sir. <coughs> sir, very nice reply from you, sir. Uh, sir, I want to know from you, sir, and you please tell me about your opinion. Failures are uh, stepping stones for success, sir. Kindly explain about this, sir. See, uh, many people uh, will not climb the first step at all. They will think, hey, I have to go in this route, in this route. But without making an effort, if you go for the first step, then only uh, they will go for the second step, then third, then fourth, and like that. But I have observed that many people have a fear to go for the first step. So I request one and all, first go with the first step, then definitely you are going with the second step. I can give one more example. Yes, of course, I have a car and I used to uh, drive my car. See, along with my car, headlights are there. So when I move, headlights will also move. There is no necessity that light has to be there in every road. If I have a light in my car, I can proceed in my life. In a similar way, if you go further and further, a route will be very clear. That means you will get more of clarity. This is what my observation. Yes, sir. <laughs> definitely, definitely, sir. Sir, we have seen uh, some of the people are disabled, sir. They have also claimed this, uh, what to say, in their life, sir. Uh, please tell us about the success stories of the disabled, sir. 
sir i have plenty uh, such stories because i met janaki uh, who was a uh, uh, champion of british channel in the 1992 uh, she has crossed uh, a british channel along with the normal people she she was affected by the polio and she doesn't have two legs when she can do it many people can do it and i know miss uh, uh, mrs sharada raju now she is no, no more uh, yes. but she was operated for 75 times but she still pursued with her passion uh, mm. painting okay mm. she used to forget pain through her painting sir sir like this i have empty number of stories sir and i have of course i have injured more than 25 to 30 people uh, for chandana tv in uh, kannada doordarshan bangalore doordarshan and i have seen in my own eyes though they are disabled they are really able that's why they are all uh, we call those such people as uh, visually or uh, physically challenged persons not the handicapped people uh, the handicap is the one who is who has not understood their capability their capacity okay so um, once uh, i read in an article uh, mrs uh, uh, malati holla told that um, we uh, physically challenged have a sort of sixth sense we are going with sixth sense uh, I, i think they have more uh, uh, sense uh, are sensible people uh, than the normal people <laughs> <laughs> definitely sir definitely sir sir normally after a defeat sir victory or success comes how sir how is it happen uh, no, the normal thing is this all chapters have all successful chapters have chapters of failures but people are tend to read only the uh, of, uh, uh, chapters of success everyone will have chapters of failures but they won't uh, look at it that's the thing and we should think uh, it's a part of life sir um, see in the initial days everyone uh, in almost all the businesses um, many businessmen will take risk okay many businesses will fail but still they pursue one or the other day they will they are going to win so that's how we are observing in the entrepreneurs in the similar way in whatever field you want to go you pursue for the longer duration many people will stop before uh, success may be somewhere near uh, but before that they will uh, walk out that's the problem sir that's what my observation is that means we have to wait for some time to get the success yes because we'll be trying definitely yes yeah, sir there are many people there are many artists who, uh, who have waited for 20 years 25 20 years 30 years, years uh, to reach their goal so yes, uh, continuous uh, persistence is what is required uh, according to me yes sir yes sir even in the laboratory in experiments also in research development they will not get the success immediately sir as you said they have to wait for some time they have to go on trying that one that's yes, why sir. they will get the success definitely sir you are given very good explanation about that sir sir now kindly tell me about uh, the maintenance of success sir. see uh, success everyone uh, will feel happy elated okay uh, he will arrive uh, or derive happiness uh, out of success uh, we used to share uh, that happiness with most of the people uh, so uh, success makes us to uh, if we are sensible um that successful person will think of some other success see if his first book is uh, very successful uh, he wants to write his second book uh, in a better way uh, uh, so uh, we should have a lot of goals and we should not stop with one goal we should continue with the same field with different goals then people can cherish the value of uh, success more and more yes sir definitely sir sir in your book you have quoted that for every person that mental attitude is very important how is that sir uh, i do agree with this because attitude determines altitude sir yes okay uh, so attitude means uh, there is a positive attitude and a negative attitude okay in the world uh, we observe both but people tend to be attracted with a negative uh, approach Uh, but we should uh, feel that and we should understand that there are positive people uh, even in the newspaper uh, the positive news are very very less very very less 
Uh, but if there is a negative news, uh, they will highlight like anything. Then the normal people will think, oh, the world is full of negativity. It is not so, sir. Mm -hmm. The positive people will always keep quiet. They will be happy and they are happy with their life. Mm -hmm. See, for example, we have so many people at Bangalore. Um, uh, maybe uh, we might get uh, five or six crimes in a day. But what people will think? Okay, oh, Bangalore is uh, full of uh, uh, crimes this week. Oh, what will happen? In that way, they will think, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, if we are looking at the positive approach, positive attitude, a positive energy, uh, the negative will go back, sir. So I advocate positivity and uh, the law of attraction um, is will go with the positive approach, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. sir. We have heard so many things through news channel, in radios, and also in television, and as newspaper, that for silly reasons, sir, people will commit uh, suicide, sir. Even some of our students also, we have scored less marks in exams, they will also commit suicide. Small, small, petty things, some people will commit suicide, sir. But for that, we have written this uh, Fear Not Failures, a very, very important book, sir. What is your <laughs> message to the people, sir, not to commit suicide? Sir, our life is to live. Our life, living, to make a living out of life, we should live whatever uh, uh, the time given for us. So I used to call DOB and DOD. Uh, DOB is date of birth, DOD is date of death. Uh, we know it is certain that we are going to die one or the other day, sir. But uh, we have to utilize the time available to us. So for that, what we have to do is uh, we have to uh, experience each and every moment and we have to uh, live in the present. Many people will live in the past or many people uh, will live in the future. Yes, we should have the experiences of the past and we should have dreams and goals of the future, but we have to live today. We have to be in the present. That is why the present means it is a gift for us. So present is gift. We do not know about the future. Yesterday, a cancel check. Tomorrow, a promissory note. And today is the ready cash. So we have to focus on today. We have to focus on the present minute if you work like this, uh, um, uh, we, we are going to enjoy, we are going to experience uh, this life. And actually, sir, even 100 years are not enough, sir, uh, if you are going to experience <laughs> this life, whatever may be uh, in the field you are in, uh, the, actually, it's not enough. But at least whatever we get, let us experience and uh, say goodbye to this uh, uh, world with smiles, sir. And yes, with definitely. satisfaction. Yes, sir. Definitely, sir. And, uh, sir, whatever we have to do in our life, whether in our uh, curricular activities, other in our field, sir, for everybody, confidence is very important, sir. Self-confidence that you have highlighted in this uh, Fear Not Failure book, sir. You please tell me for our viewers, sir, how <laughs> it is important. Uh, see, if they have a, even a minute confidence in them, they won't go for the suicide, sir. So that's the reason why uh, everyone should have confidence. We can derive confidence through a lot of activities, sir. For example, public speaking is one such area uh, you can gain confidence. Yes. For example, a physical activity uh, can motivate you uh, to have a lot of confidence, sir. Sir, actually, um, these two experiences are out of my life, sir. I uh, never uh, spoke for 20 years in my life, the first 20 years of in, in my life on any stage, but now uh, I won't afraid whatever may be the number, whatever number may be the audience. I just want a, a good platform and a microphone. That's it, sir. Uh, so I have gained the confidence. In the similar way, uh, we are going to face a lot of problems in our life. If we think problem is a problem, yes, we are identified with the problem. And if you are a part of a solution, we are going to solve that. So we should be a part of the solution, not a part of the problem, sir. Many people will be in the problem, 
will be in the pond of problems and they will circulate there itself but if they come out of the problem and think how to solve a problem they are going to find a key to solve the problem sir so that's it so for that what they have to do is they have to have the self confidence yes sir you have a very excellent explanation for that sir sir please tell us about uh, factors that augment atmavishwas <coughs> see we, we have to do uh, regular uh, activities sir we have to be very physically fit mentally fit emotionally fit and uh, we should uh, have the spiritual approach also e, and if you are taking care of all these things along with the intellectual approach and the financial part of it we are going to gain lot of confidence so for uh, physical strength do exercise uh, maintain your health so that you will get more confidence and you give work okay feed something to your mind your mind will give a lot of answers to you uh, that means if you work on, more on that your intellectual capability will be improved and your decision making capability will be improved so uh, apart from that uh, if you are okay uh, handle with care the lot of emotions okay so emotionally uh, we should be very strong actually uh, we are getting happiness through this emotional approach we are gaining and or we are getting uh, kindness love, love empathy sympathy Perfect. all these emotional quotient are going to support us uh, apart from this uh, if you are spiritually aligned if you are positive if you are doing good to the society if you are contributing something to the society um, we we will be elevated in the society and uh, even in our personality your personality will go to the next level and of course may, many people will have to take care of their financial uh, problems uh, so for that we have to earn properly we have to save properly and we have to invest of uh, finance in a proper way the money management uh, gives us lot of confidence these days uh, so uh, all these six factors of personality will get you the confidence sir so to say you whatever your six points you have given sir they are our sutras for our growth sir really definitely sir sir now we shall move on to next one sir sir what are the sparks of inspiration sir uh we are getting lot of uh, information uh we know lot lot of stories um live uh, incidents life stories like uh, mahatma see even uh, a, a story whatever whatever has happened at south africa to our mahatma gandhi ji has made him more strong similar way if we observe the successful people's life history if we read their uh, uh, life stories and if we hear or read uh, the experiences of the achievers of whatever field you want you are going to gain a, a pathway a light a clarity towards your field so we should go we should think we should proceed in this way it is going to help us a lot so that uh, we can uh, do uh, uh, with a minimal effort uh, we can by the experience of others we are going to gain success in a, sp uh, a speedy manner yes sir definitely sir sir regarding atma vishwas sir you have quoted uh, the examples of uh, swami vekananda and other eminent personalities sir kindly tell about that sir see uh, people like swami vekananda ramakrishna paramahamsa they are all uh, um, i think uh, divine people sir uh, if you read uh, such co uh, quotations from vekananda for example arise awake and stop not till the goal is reached that one sentence is enough uh, to get confidence sir uh, definitely sir sir no we have to have some this uh, confidence self confidence in with us that atma vishwasa we have to have 
another thing is suppose if you have excess uh, atma vishwas over confidence what you say that is also dangerous sir uh, kindly differentiate how it this one sir uh, i'll give you an example inferiority complex is uh, people feeling that they are very low superiority complex means uh, they will have lot of ego lot of ego so they will think we are great uh, they will always feel like that so in between there is one word is there that is called as self confidence i won't advocate inferiority complex i won't advocate superiority complex by but i advocate the self confidence okay sir that is very important sir even that uh, excess atma vishwas as you say it is also deleterious we should not have that excess uh, atma vishwas also uh, that is very important sir sir i am very happy i have also purchased this sophia not failure book sir and you have uh, clarified most of my questions sir thank you very much sir thank you um, mr changal rai i want to inform uh, the uh, viewers that uh, if you want this video you can get it at nagama foundation you may please call on 9341259267 and about these two books these two books are published by sapna bookhouse what you have to do you can get it at uh, sapna bookhouse uh, book uh, stores or sapnaonline.com you can book through sapnaonline.com and have a uh, beautiful day and of course you are going to read our book fear not fail you saw in kannada solugalige anjithri thank you very much sir thank you thank you sir thank you